hi guys uh how are you doing welcome back to my channel this is regina space my name is regina mwangi and this is the place where we get to learn share and grow together and today i'm back again with another moment of sharing uh and i hope you get to enjoy the video so as you can see from the title today i'm just going to share with you our experience i went through and i just want you to see how this uh shift in my mindset really saved my life guys most of you know that i happened to lose a really close person to me i lost my mom and that was a really i mean it still is a very difficult uh, uh moment for me even thinking about you know me not having her here so that was really tough so i thought why not you know now that life has decided to throw this challenge to me and i have to deal with the fact that uh she's gone why don't i redesign my life and basically do uh change my life you know on a 360 degree basically change everything about my life and and see whether that would help you know with uh coping because uh going through grief i mean it's it's a life-changing moment as well and so i thought why don't i change my entire life in general and so i you know went looking for opportunities that would allow me to basically do that redesign my life and i came across an opportunity and i there was some noise outside my house and i had to wait for it to cool down basically what i was saying after going through grief and feeling that pain and um uh you know me thinking i think i need to redesign my efforts my life you know just take a 360 you know turn and i went looking for opportunities that would allow me basically to redesign my life and guys i came across an opportunity and i looked at the whole offer and i was like hmm this seems like something that uh is interesting for me and uh i was happy to try it so i went ahead and threw in the necessary information that was required basically submitted the applications and everything else that uh, whenever you're applying for roles you normally ask for and i did that and um thinking about it i was so excited i was like Ooh, if this goes through oh god if this goes through my life is going to change my life is going to completely change and I was ready for that change and I couldn't wait for it. But first of all, I had doubts whether they would get back to me, whether they would really even look at my application and whether really I stood the chances. But I, you know, I, 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 I had nothing to lose, you know, why not just go ahead and apply? So I applied one month down the line, they get back to me and they're like, oh, we received your application, ha, 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 we want to invite you for an interview with this and this day, do this and this. And I was like, wow, you mean they got back to me? So this is actually going to work. I'm really going to change my life. You know, why not? So I went ahead, uh, went through the first uh, phase of that, you know, whatever process and uh after the first phase i still had serious doubts on whether they would get back i don't know for some reason i was doubting even my my my, my whatever my, my my skills and my experience so uh two weeks later they get back to me and they're like i oh, oh, we would like to move you on to the next stage oh yo whatever was so super amazing you know we're happy to have you do the sex the second stage so i was excited i'm like wow you mean i did it this is happening i'm really going to change my life like completely forever and things are going to you know turn out well and i was happy uh but i know deep down i had some nervousness within me no matter how much i wanted to change my life there was some fears and basically my instinct were telling me something but i do want to listen to it i mean i was busy here trying to change my life so why well, listen to that voice that is trying to tell you otherwise um i did the second uh whatever the second uh stage of that uh, process 
and uh, I really thought you guys if you get back to me you really don't know what you're looking for like you really do not know what you're looking for like me I've gone through the first second I know you're inviting for the third stage you really don't know what you're looking for like you don't know what you're in for like you guys have gone through the whole world and you've just chosen me to go through the third stage anyway so i got uh an invite for the third stage and it was the final stage for that particular process and guys i was so nervous like finally it was here on my face it was going to happen so when i was invited for the third stage and it was the final stage now this was the panel interview and i was like i'm here this one i'm going to hit it but i was nervous remember i told you i was so nervous deep down something didn't quite feel right and and you know you know when you have that voice inside telling you otherwise sometimes you don't want to listen to it you don't want to listen to it at all you like it's happening and i'm going for it but i was nervous all through i remember it actually took one week so the whole week i was so nervous reading rehearsing everything doing research you know trying to build scenarios of the questions that are going to be asked and trying to respond to them you know looking at all the uh all the youtube channels about you know doing interviews and how to respond to these questions you know and if you want to really get that job you should say this and not that and i was ready i think i even developed uh, almost two or three page you know document uh, you know that i was using to rehearse with the questions and so the day before the interview i remember i was so nervous the whole day i was so nervous really nervous and i remember i've been i've been having challenges with my sleep because of grief and a, a, you know everything and so i wasn't sleeping you know as i should i remember i was even on sleeping pills because it was so hard you know basically just coming from the grief and um, the day before the interview, I think I took the last sleeping pill. So I didn't have pills. And I had tried to wean myself off of the pills so much because I wanted to go back into sleeping normally without the pills. So each time I would finish a pack, I would tell myself, no, Regina, you're not going to get another pack. Train yourself of how to sleep, you know, naturally, normally without using the pills because the pills are not good for you so when that pack ended i told myself this is now the time that i'm going to win myself off of these sleeping pills and i'm going to be sleeping naturally you know normally like i should so the night before the interview guys i didn't have a sleeping pill so i didn't take anything and i went to bed and I tried to force myself to sleep so that I can rest in preparation for the interview the following day. I tried to force myself to sleep. I tried even to do other things. You know those things they tell you meditate, I don't know how, repeat, na 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 na, whatever, and see whether you're going to fall asleep. Or try to keep your eyes, you know, wide open and it's, you know, slowly they're just going to shut and you're going to fall asleep. So I didn't sleep. I remember just looking at my phone, you know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Up until 4 a.m., I had not even caught a wink of sleep. I hadn't slept at all. I think up to 5 a.m., I hadn't slept. I think I caught some sleep at around 5, 6 a.m. ish. And uh, I had to wake up the following day because I still had, you know, my, my, my normal work. So I had to work. I, I hadn't taken some time off. So I remember waking up the following day. I was so tired. I was in a bad mood. I was groggy. Ugh. I even wondered whether I could, you know, go and reschedule the interview. But I had con confirmed a week before. So there was no way I was going to cancel it on the D-Day so i remember calling 
calling my doctor told the doctor hadn't slept i have a very important meeting later on this evening and i want to be sober i want you know to have a clear head and i want my mind to work as it should and guys so of course i drank coffee i drank anything the energy drinks just something to keep my mind working and so the interview came and went and i performed i don't know i don't want to say i performed so thinking about it up today i still cringe thinking about just myself answering questions there and I remember after the interview, I was in a very bad mood. I got into a very bad mood, a depressed mood, actually, because I knew right from there I had lost that opportunity. I mean, I can tell when I go for these interviews that those interviews that you know you've gotten the job and there are those interviews you don't even need to get that regret that um, you've not gotten the job. So I went into serious into a serious i would say a depressive episode after that because i knew um i'd lost my chance my chances of course when people ask me oh how did it go i was like oh it went well you know i performed so well i think i got an a or an a plus i'm just waiting for them to get back you know i'm praying and hoping that this opportunity is going to come but deep down guys deep down i knew whoa uh, for some reason it didn't sound you know just right and uh they said they were going to get back in a week so you can imagine the weight the nervousness and everything and i remember going to my to my i i, I just took my journal and and i just want to read <laughs> for you guys what i wrote uh it was in august this year and i wrote Actually, the title was, I'm hella lots nervous. This week is very difficult. So I'm reading from my journal. This week is very difficult and very trying in all aspects of my life. There's nothing and anxiety, there's nothing and anxiety triggering for me than waiting for something that I don't have control of the outcome. Call me a control freak and a hater of surprises but then when you are waiting on an answer that could turn your life at 360 for good you have to or you can't help getting anxious well since the loss of my dear sweet mother i've been yearning for a new life experience call it a paradigm shift or wanting a new and exciting challenge and to that i applied for a job abroad and voila i've gone through uh the three recruitment stages and i'm now waiting on the final verdict which can go either way so you can tell i was so scared i was so scared uh deep down i mean i wanted to get the job but um uh i know i didn't have the chances I, I i i just knew that and that really depressed me so i really really want to get this job and i'm hoping that god will favor me with it however this weight is killing me if i lose this opportunity i do not know what i will do with my life guys you can tell i was so depressed i was so depressed thinking about just getting that regret email and so you know that whole process had taken about two or three months so the whole of my three months have just been daydreaming about redesigning my you know my life and getting the job abroad and moving abroad and happy you know i begin life again life is about changes and here i was ready to change my life but um actually writing this writing this on my journal really i think i even teared up i was so depressed i didn't even continue it was a page and a half so i wrote that uh i wrote that depressing piece on third august this year actually and uh, i think i went back to the same same journal on fourth august so the following day and I wrote, and actually the title of that was Change of Mentality. That's how I titled it. Change of Mentality. 
So when I told and I wrote, if I don't get this job, it is not the worst thing that could happen to me. You see the shift in mindset there? If I don't get this job, it is not the worst thing that could happen to me. It will not be the end of the world. I'll rise up again like a phoenix. Okay, I was trying to become a poet there. I'll rise up again like a phoenix from this abyss of darkness on my mental wellness. Yes, I really need the job. But if I don't get it, the worst thing that could happen is me neglecting myself. Guys, you see? I feel like I was a poet there, like an orator. And this, these were not these things that I was reading from somewhere. I remember after writing the depressing piece on the previous day, I was just thinking about life through and through, you know, and thinking if I don't get the job, what will happen? Uh, because I knew I wasn't going to get that job, by the way. I just didn't tell you. If you are supporting me, I mean, thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. But I knew I wasn't going to get that job because... I don't want to tell you about the self-talk I had done. <laughs> the self-talk I had done in that waiting period. Eh? If I don't get this job, you know, just give up in life. You know, just retire somewhere in the countryside, you know, and just wait for when God decides to take you. So all those are very dark and negative self-talk that I dissuade you from ever, you know, using then I went ahead and said there are worst things that have that have happened to me and I'm still here rolling and moving forward. Some are major, some are major, but I have or I'm still weathering them. And I wrote there in brackets some of the, you know, major sad things that have happened to me. And, what, and, you know, I put in bracket losing my mom, you know, I mean, what is the worst thing that I've ever gone through than losing my mother? Honestly, nothing. And he's still here. I'm still here. I'm still, you know, going forward and moving forward with life. You see, so there are worst things that have happened and I'm still here weathering this. So... Losing that job was not going to be the most, you know, outrageous or weird or sad thing that was going to have to happen to me. Then I went ahead and wrote, however, there are some great things that have happened to me. And I listed down 11 things, guys, actually. So here I was sad about this one thing, not getting the job. And had written, you know, anxiety, waiting, oh, I'm so anxious, you, I don't know what will happen if I don't get the job. So that was one thing. Again, as these other 11 things that I listed, that were great things, nice things to be happy about. And I know the list could be longer if, you know, if I wanted to enlarge it. So you see how things happen in life, that one thing, just one thing could have could uh, not be working out for you or could not be going the way you want it to go. And you go into depression, you doubt yourself, you start even saying, oh, God does not even love me. He does not care about me. My life sucks. I'm not good, you know, for anything. I'm not worth anything. But if you shift your mindset, if you look at the positive, there are many other great things that are happening in your life even right now. But you focus only on this one thing. I can tell you for about for those three months, I was focused on this one thing. And I really wanted it to go right. I, I mean, <laughs> no shade, but I really wanted to get a job and go abroad. But um, I'm still not there. And I'm, and I'm happy where I am at right now. My, that, you know, shifting the mindset from that you know uh getting that job from that one thing and now looking at the bigger picture in life where my life is at you know where my life is going at the dreams i have about myself and me even telling myself that the worst thing that i can do is neglecting myself the worst thing that can happen is not me losing that job 
the worst thing that can happen is me neglecting myself and i want you to tell yourself that that the worst thing that can happen to you is not you losing that job is not you not getting that job is not you not getting whatever it is you want in your life the worst thing that you can ever do in life or the worst thing that can happen in life is you neglecting yourself guys i don't want to be preachy but if i am i mean no apologies but this really i was reading this the other day and i could just see and trace how my mind within a span of one day my mindset had changed and so after writing this other piece that you know that i don't need to neglect myself and um, it's not the worst thing that happens if i don't get the job that really helped me even to prepare psychologically in getting that regret email and it came and it came guys it came it came i wish i could put, put a screenshot here but i can see the areas that i can blur and just show you that regret email deep down i knew it was going to come and i knew i was not going to take it so well i knew i couldn't take it so well because i had prepared for it i had done the research i had done everything right that you can do in a job application i had done it guys i had done it and i really wanted to get a congratulations but deep down i knew i was going to get a regret i don't know how i knew but i felt it i just felt that i'm going to get a no and my mind and my body was not ready for a no but you can see how just things worked that within a span within two days i had changed my mindset and i was ready and prepared for a regret i already have a job i mean i'm already i already have um you know a job that uh, is meaningful I've completed, you know, my, my, my degree. My, I have a promising future. I have, a, you know, my attitude. I have a positive and healthy attitude and outlook about life. I have a family, a loving family. I'm independent. These are things that I was overlooking when I was just trying to care about the one thing. That's how, that's how just changing your mindset about something changing your outlook about something depressing can really change you can really open your eyes and look at the bigger picture and look at your life and be able to evaluate and see things that are working for good i think it was very important for me even to read through my journal and just to show you how that process happened and i hope you're learning something from this because this channel is about me sharing hope with you guys i've gone through good and bad you know moments and things in life and of course i'm not going to spill everything here but i just want to be using those life experiences the experiences that i've gone through whether good or bad just to be sharing them with you and to encourage you out there that you think you've seen it there are people who have seen it out here and and, and we are still weathering life we are still here we're still pushing on we're still going to do it and we're not going to give up so there is no need of you giving up on yourself so the worst thing that can happen is not you getting is not you not getting that thing the worst thing that can happen is you neglecting yourself that has really now spoken even to me now and i'm the one who wrote it and i can't remember the whether i wrote such so i continued writing all these things have happened without that job and you know what dear and you know what dear self these things or the core of who you are will not change if you don't land the job can you listen to that guys all these things have happened without this job and you know what dear self these things or the core of who you are will not change if you don't land this job I think I, I I think I just went through a spiritual moment in those two days eh? and thought about everything that um, I was going through, the depression I've taken I had taken myself through, just because of a job. I mean, it was a big job abroad and everything, and deal, blah 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 blah. But you can see how knowingly 
I was on a mission. I, was, I, I, I thought I was on a mission to redesign myself, to redesign my life, basically. But I was on a mission to destroy myself. I was on a mission to destroy my life through the depression that knowingly I had taken myself through. I mean, and I'm being honest here. I knew deep down there's something that told me, ah, there's something that was telling me that things are not going to work. There is, there is that voice and I do want to listen to it. And there are many times that I don't want to listen to that voice. And for you, I know there's many times you get that voice and you don't want to listen to it. But guys, I think that voice is always right. I always try to challenge it and tell, no, 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 it's going to work. No, 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 it's negative self-talk. Sometimes it's not even negative self-talk. Sometimes it's your instinct telling you the right thing. I'm going to repeat this because I think it's just so powerful, guys. So all these things so the 11 things and i and no no there could be more there is more definitely that i could have written all these things have happened without this job and you know what dear self these things or the core of who you are will not change if you don't land this job i don't know what it is you are after in life it's might be scholarship applications job applications or whatever it is opportunity that you're trying to chase through and i know you're you're getting the regrets you're definitely getting the regrets eh? and sometimes you don't have like i was here i didn't have what it takes to take a regret i knew i couldn't take a no i mean i was just coming from a very raw and painful moment and I knew I couldn't take another no. I couldn't take another, you know, pain. I knew it. And that's why I went into depression, really, because I was wondering what will I do. But you can see that in a span of two days, just changing my mindset. And I'm not giving credit to, to myself. It's not up to me how I think or whatever. I mean, I was created by God. So I'm sure these were things that God had looked down and see that, this daughter of mine is going to destroy her life. She's going to destroy herself. And I have to intervene. And I just love, you know, going back and seeing how this shift in mindset, how saved my life. It actually saved my life. I thought that uh, I was saving my, my life by redesigning it and wanting, you know, to experience everything fresh and new away from here where my mom died but now looking at it i was on a mission to destroy my life i was on a mission to destroy my my life i'm so happy to tell you guys that right now i'm not in that mental state things have improved that uh things have been looking up for me good things have been happening um and i'm so so grateful and thankful you know that uh, i went through that stage you know i was reading somewhere that uh, this too shall pass so everything that happens in life just know this too shall pass that difficult depressing moment for me has passed and now i mean i would say a better a better mental space i know i mean i could i mean uh, is it better yeah, I'm in a better mental space compared to that moment and I know things could get better. But I just wanted to share with you that story just to, to see how a shift in mindset, just a slight shift in your mindset could save your life. So do not be fixated uh, on that one thing. Try, you know, to, 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 to ask yourself huh, to think through each and every outcome. Because I know at that moment, I knew I had to move on with my life. I knew I had to go on living. I mean, I had a job. I, I had to continue being productive. I had to continue being able to deliver in my work. And I knew that the mental space that I was in was not good for me. I was either going to fail in, in, in life and even in my job. 
and so slowly by slowly i was doing therapy to myself i was doing therapy to myself and just preparing my mind and my body how to take a regret you know and i think thinking through everything that's when i told myself that me not getting that job is not the worst thing that could happen the worst thing that could happen is me neg neglecting myself and that is so powerful i hope you get encouraged i hope you 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 get to 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 shift your mind on things and i hope that everything gets to work out for you i hope i really do hope that everything gets to work out for you this is a very long video guys oh but um i hope you learned a thing or two i've just shared a very vulnerable and painful moment for me but uh if i know it was worth it if it encourages someone you know out there so if you like the video why don't you leave a comment below if you've learned something you know please let me know it will you know it's very encouraging to get testimonials from people who tell you that uh you know that one thing you shared really worked out for me and i really love uh you know uh what you shared and apply and i'm applying the tips that you're sharing so please let me know and even in my other videos uh, if you have um watched any video that have impacted you in any way please let me know it asks it acts as an as a motivation and an encouragement to me to continue doing these videos guys and you know just sharing my life and my experiences with you so please do not shy away from letting me know thank you to everyone who has who has been watching the videos leaving comments you know hitting the like button and even clicking the notification bell so thank you so much and uh bye see you in the next video